welcome this is the energy vibration reading for the Sun moon and rising Gemini's this is the month of September 2017 the month of September have we have the energy vibration of a fire energy and this is the wheel of fortune so it's going to be wonderful for a lot of you Gemini's because I'm only seeing the Pentacles energies which is your hurt your materialistic energies and new endeavors new surprises uh, new opportunities are going to come for you guys so this is wonderful okay so as we look forward we are going to see what else is here in this month I want to say welcome to all newcomers thank you for being here I hope you will stay and subscribe and to all my followers I want to say thank you so much for the wonderful wonderful support that you have been doing to my channel and I'm hoping to work with you for as long as I can in the um, in the years to come this has been wonderful I am you Gemini's I am so I I you know changes are coming in for you Gemini's and wonderful changes are coming in so what is happening um, to you Gemini's and this is wonderful because it's a it's about um, your monetary situation that is happening in this month what we're looking at in uh, in this month is that um, you will be um, um, changing your materialistic aspect you will be looking at your materialistic situation in this month okay so um, for you Gemini is going to be a month where your money money is going to be um, as if playing a significant role and I've always be seeing money so expect to connect money is going to be uh, wonderful for you guys you guys are working on something that is going to bring you um, a lot of love so money and uh, new um, money and uh, new opportunities are coming in opportunities are coming in for you guys so this is going to be wonderful I'm sorry <laughs> okay all right we're going to go further um, and you have the energy vibration of the eye princess you Gemini so whatever is happening for you Gemini's you have the energy of the eye princess so um, the energy of the eye princess is that your intuition your guidance your guiding angels your guides um, the universal beams are coming in and they want you to connect with your intuition and listen to your inner voice so it's a month of you listening to your inner voice because I'm seeing this happening to a lot of Gemini's it's about time you stop manifesting and listen to your inner voice because you're manifesting a lot of things through your thoughts you need to start to listen to your inner voice and go within and listen to your inner voice okay this month of September we have only four weeks thanks God because we just finished the month of August with five weeks the month of September is going to be um, a wonderful um, a month but in the sense that it's all about your money and all about new opportunities coming in your life let's see what other messages are here for the Gemini's in this month of September what other messages are here for the Gemini's in this month of September because I have to be working with three layers because we have the angels coming in with more in the first week of uh, um, September which is a water week you're going to have a feeling as if you're all alone whatever the situation is uh, you can be on vacation you can come back from vacation you have met someone and you felt as if you're alone okay you felt as if uh, you are the only one in the world and there is a uh, no one else uh, there to support you okay so whatever this feelings of alone is you feel as if you're an orphan as if you have no mother father no sisters and brothers and you feel very alone in a situation you have the number five energy there that is at, um, a, ch a challenging energy but 
you have the three of pentacles and you are feeling this way but this is not exactly what is happening for you because you have the three of pentacles and the three of pentacles is you need to connect to groups and other people it's as if you felt a loss within yourself and you're not feeling the energy vibration but the energy of the 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 hurt is here for you bringing balance in that situation to make you feel that and let you know that you just need to connect with groups of people what is going to happen when you do connect with these groups of people you have the nine of Pentacles this is going to bring you a lot of accomplishment in your life so do not sit there and feel as if you know you can be starting a new school new new university whatever it is a new um, job in the first week of September you're feeling as if you're alone but you need to connect more to the people around you and by doing that you are going to accomplish a whole lot because you have the energy of nine of Pentacles so this is why I'm saying to you guys and this is going to be the theme of September for you guys is that money and new things new opportunities are coming in your life and this you can see you feel as if you have left out in the cold you are feeling alone but you just need to connect to groups and organization and you're going to accomplish a whole lot because you have the nine of Pentacles Um, I'm starting to love these little cards now in the second week the second week is the earth energy week which is a wonderful energy you have your higher power the higher power is when the universal guides and angels are coming in to connect with you and they're bringing you information via your wisdom and this is why the eye princess is here in this week as your focus because they want you to listen to your inner wisdom and guidance because the higher power is speaking through you via your inner wisdom and your inner voice so listen and 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 make sure that this person and this entity is of pure light if not ask them to be removed that you're sending them with love and light away okay what the second thing is the ace of Pentacles so I mean you guys feel as if you're left out in the cold and that sort of a thing but money is flowing in your life like nothing else you have the two of swords you're bringing balance to your materialistic world by listening to your inner wisdom and guides and this is so wonderful and this is extremely wonderful and powerful so use the energy vibration here to help yourself out and to make sure that you are on the right part because money is going to flow in your life like nothing else I know I heard my phone but that's my son okay we are going forward and in the third week which is the energy vibration of a hair sign is a powerful week this is a good week one of your best best week the rest of the week was good but this is your best week the last two weeks of this month is going to be very positive for you Gemini's you have a message in the bottle a message in a bottle a message in the bottle is um, for the people who are looking for work and looking to connect with other people it's going to be good information coming in it's a lot of text message um, message that is coming via the post and that sort of a thing text message emails and that sort of a thing so a positive message is on its way to you when we look at the energy this positive message is going to balance your emotional aspect and your material world and as you can see in the two first of the weeks the two first weeks your material world is coming in balance because you have the three of Pentacles the ace of Pentacles and the nine of Pentacles so your material world is coming into balance the other energy that you have is ruin and the ten of swords whatever that you thought was ruin in your life it's no longer that that situation because the message that is coming to you it's going to be a message because you felt as if in the first week as if all was all was lost and whatever that was happening with all has been lost it is not that that is just an imagination that is just your ego trying to fool you nothing has been lost whatever this ten of sword is is going to all be gone and this is feeling I'm getting this feeling as if somebody has lost a loved one or as lost a relationship has ended that sort of a thing but yet still though that negative thing is happening something a beautiful is coming out in your life and this is good as we look in the fourth week we have the energy 
of all that glitter is gold and this I'm so happy that this card comes up in a fourth week because you Gemini's always think that you know oh this person is from this and this person is from that so yes it's the best person to connect with no no um most of the time we think that whatever that glitter is so nice and so positive and so and this is what I should have in my life and you Gemini's are like that but it's not all the time what glitters is gold because now you're realizing because in the beginning of the month you're realizing that you feel lost because something happened in the end of August and you came in the beginning of the month of September feeling a, feeling a loss of something and that is emotion you felt alone because a relationship that you had seems to go away something that you had seems to go away and you feel so lost and now in the last week you're seeing that and it's that the angels and guys are telling you that not all what is glitter is gold but yet still what is happening and what they're doing is trying to open up new doors of opportunity for you and a lot of new opportunities are about to come in your life so sometimes we lose something but we're going to gain things that is much better and much positive and we have the energy of cruelty the nine of swords and in this nine of swords it says cruelty and as if you felt as if you've been um, stabbed in the back and hang on the cross and you know all these things this is the negative energies and the negative thoughts that you're having okay and you feel as if they've said they've they've you know tag you on a tree and murdering you but you know remember whatever we do if even we do things in secrets they always come out okay and it's as if you connect with someone and this is what I'm getting and I'm going to give you a, a, a good message after this it's as if you of, of, of these feelings of being stabbed in the back of at first you felt alone in the third week you feel as if you were stabbed in the back and now you feel as if you've been hanged on the tree and nailed to the cross and it's not that it's just your imagination this is what you're feeling like but it's not really what is happening because good things and new things are about to come out because it could have been something that has happened to you in the past and now you're seeing that certain things in certain aspect are being clear now and um and you're going to know that things are going to be good so um let's be um, positive and know exactly what to do and how to deal with certain aspects sorry that was my son Sundays is my Sunday <laughs> and um, and um, you realize that even though you feel lost and alone and this lost and alone something happened in the end the last week of August and this is why you have been coming in the month of September feeling lost and alone but the problem is that you are feeling lost and alone and feel as if you know you have been stabbed and uh, and, and uh, with the with, you know the ten swords and that sort of a thing and you know you're having these thoughts these are thoughts that are coming in because in the second week you are feeling balanced because the highest spirit was there helping you in the second week and you have the ace of Pentacles and you were feeling balanced but when it gets back to the third week messages are coming in and these are going to be good positive messages but yet still is as if people are sending you messages so it says oh could you do this why you left this person and you should have been there for this person that sort of a thing and then you're realizing that you know good things are coming for you but yet still you feel as if you have been um, you know plaque on a tree and 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 crucified but that is just your negative thoughts because in the on the world in the, 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 the spirit world you know you're going to be very successful you're going to be very extremely successful so whatever is going on you have the energy of the 
eye princess that is listening to your in intuition because what February is happening you need to listen to your intuition all those negative thoughts of this um, ten of swords and be the cruelty of someone and nailing you to the cross you know you need to understand that you're not alone you're never alone your angels and guides are there and this is why this month they're saying to you listen to your intuition by listening to your intuition you are going to be extremely successful um, success is going to come to you you're going to balance out your emotion whatever is happening you are going to be successful your materialistic world is going to be a very very positive one okay so I know sometimes you are in a relationship and you realize it's a wrong relationship because it looks as if it was so good it looks as if it was so good and then you realize that it was a fake and I've been I have been saying to you Gemini's from 2016 that some of you are in relationships that are not um, good relationships for you okay so I'm going to ask um, um, what is happening in the love sense for you Gemini's because this you you know you're 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 very money money is coming in you Gemini's you know money is coming in whatever is happening you're, you're you're here and you're so you're you're here and you're so worried but you have no need to be worrying because money is coming in you know the love of you changing and making decision in the last week it, this is what is happening okay you have um you have um the the energy of money your financial needs will be met and whenever the energy of fish comes up there's a lot of money is coming in and it's coming in swiftly and with this it's going to bring you um contracts and contracts that can be contracts in marriage living together or whatever the situation is and you're going to make a decision about that okay you're really going to make a decision about that so whatever the situation is you need not worry about it because you're having this worry some thoughts and this sort of a thing whatever is happening for you um gemini's out there and you know you feel it as if you are being um you know um, stabbed and and placed on the cross you know it, that is how you're feeling but that is not exactly what is happening okay so you need to understand that you need to bring positive in your life swiftness um, some people are going to have financial argument and business conflicts okay some people are going to have financial arguments and business conflicts in the first week be aware of how you deal with the situation because this is why you felt as if you are alone in this situation because money is there you have the three of Pentacles you have the nine of Pentacles accomplishment and you have money okay money is there so in the first week there is going to be a conflicts about money and someone is going to treat you so badly because there is going to be arguments a swiftness arguments because that is you know arguments about money and business conflicts in the first week for some people okay and as we look at the second week what is happening um, for you people in the second week is that you are going to have a, a swiftness of something coming in your life you know a very um, a swiftness of something coming in in your life and uh, that swiftness that is coming in your life it is going to be um, for some people contracts are going to be ended relationships and breakup okay for some people contracts are going to be ended relationships and breakup is going to happen so um, whatever is, is is happening endings or um, major ones but yet still good things are going to be coming out of this okay so let's look at the third week and see what is happening you have the ten and um, the, the third week is actually going to be um, contracts ending yeah um, contracts ends and relationship breakup in the third week but the good message that is coming in whenever this situation is happening is the best thing that could happen okay whenever this situation is happening is the best thing that could ever happen because new things are going to come in your life because um, in the fourth week you have the seven of Pentacles so let's look at um, 
the fourth week in the fourth week we have the energy of uh, um, you're thinking what you need to do so um, the energy is that a decision has to be made you need to make a decision in the fourth week the fourth week you need to make a decision and whatever decision you make in the fourth meet is going to be um, redecorating positive changes and improvements. So here we are. We're ending, you know, we're ending um, this 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 month of wonderful positive energies. And you know, for some people, love is um, ending relationships, but as new relationships, new. Um, people are going to be coming in your life so whatsoever is happening you need not be aware of the whatever is happening because you're going to realize that things are going to change and I'm looking back at the second week because they want me to look back at the second week because I gave you the third week at the second week uh, you have the energy of uh, you know a quickness that is happening and you have uh, um, luck um, luck decision sudden luck okay um, luck and decision sudden luck just in the second week because you have the ace of Pentacles so this is <clears throat> really positive whatever is happening this is really positive and the first week where you have the energy of you know you could be <clears throat> having um, conflicts money conflicts in some and, 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 and some people will be having money conflicts or business um, conflicts with money and that sort of a thing but yet still you have accomplishment so you have that but you have um, inheritance gift of money is coming in in the first week so this is wonderful and this is why I'm always going back and asking questions because sometimes the message comes in and it's so many of you out there at the end of the day you're going to be very 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 um, um, your materialistic things is going to be just be wonderful okay because you're feeling all of these weird things that are that are happening around you but at the end of the day your financial needs are going to be um, very positive you have no worries about that there is something that is happening um, some people are going to be connecting with your mighty I am present self and it's uh, there's going to be an, a sort of a happiness at home a positive uh, um, home and a sort of a happiness at home and positive so this is going to be good for some people even though um, some people in the first week is feeling as if all is lost money success in money is going to be wonderful there is going to be a new beginning um, for money this is this is a wonderful reading if you ask uh, for you Gemini's okay so for the people who who you know is the end of a relationships and whatever conflicts that you have with money and at the end of a relationships and that sort of a thing and in the third week there is going to be an end of relationships and end of business contract in the third week so be aware okay we're going forward because we have you know gone too much over um, that and I really have to need to keep my time okay let's see what the vortex is saying for the Gemini's in the month of September my life is about my relationships okay so a lot of you Gemini seems to have a problem with relationships in this month some relationships are going to be ending accept the ending move on because these endings needs to happen so that something much better can come in your life okay I have seen the Gemini's who have been um, with certain relationship with certain people that it was working out and finally now it has ended you thought that it was it was glittering as if it was gold it was gold and you realize that it is hard but we need to move on my life is about my relationship and this is what is happening my life is about my relationship so whatever the situation is you're going to realize that your life is about your relationship okay you will never find yourself in the point in time when the subject of relationship is not an active part of your new existence for everything you perceive or notice or know is because of your relationship with something else without a, 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 um, 
a corporation of excitements, you will be able to perceive or um, fact the kinds of things that you need. Therefore, it is uh, accurate to say that uh, vibrational relationship you could not uh, uh, consist of all. Okay, so this is actually very wonderful. It's uh, these vibrational cards are very good because it tells you about. Um, who you are and it says without a comparative experience you wouldn't be unable to perceive or focus uh, or you know be the understanding of who you are without these relationships so I guess the lesson to this relationship really really teaches you something there's a lesson to this relationship that really teaches you something okay we're going forward and we're going to look at the Sun people and this is the people who were born between the hours of 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. so I didn't really um, think there so let's see what planets are working with you Gemini Sun people in the month of September okay we have the planet of Mars we have the planet of Mars <clears throat> who are the zodiac energies who you are going to be working with so what are the zodiac energies you're going to be working with you're going to work with yourself you're going to work with other Gemini's that is so cool okay okay I was a little bit excited there okay what messages okay so for you some people you're going to be working with Mars and the planet of Mars is changing careers and moving things out of your life that you no longer need and certain situation is going to come in the Gemini's so other Gemini's just like yourself are going to come in to help you work out certain situation which is good and you can meet them for the people who are changing their career and changing their career part you're going to meet these new Gemini's and they're going to help you and then you have the sign of the Virgos who are coming in to also help remember that the first half of this month is the energy the Sun sign for you Sun sign the first half of this month you're going to be um, vibrating with the energy vibration of the Virgos okay because they are having their birthday the first first two weeks so the Virgos and the Gemini's are going to help you Sun Virg uh, Gemini's and the planet of Mars is going to come in it's going to help you to change your career and find your true north as we look forward to the moon sign people these are people who were born 6 p.m. till 6 a.m. in the morning let's see what planetary aspect is going to be working with you guys let's see what planetary aspect is going to work with the Gemini um, moon people in the month of September we have mercury and mercury has been yeah that's the only one I should take mercury has been coming up such a long time okay let's see what is happening for let's see what is happening for the zodiac the Pisces you're going to be working with the Pisces and the Librans and this is good so for you um, Gemini moon people you are going to be working with the um, mercury mercury is uh, the manifestation planet this is a planet where you learn to make magic in your own life you are going to have help from the liberans who is your sister sign so the liberans are going to come in and help you if there is a lawsuit if there was a this um, a dispute or so you're going to win this dispute and you're going to connect with the Pisces people so people who were born um, the 20th of February until the 22nd of March or some of the 20th of March you're going to connect with these people and they're going to help you to heal yourself from a situation that has been happened and most of this I'm feeling that it is a situation that has to do with a love relationship that has gone away in this month okay so the liberals in the Pisces are going to come in for you moon people you pe people who are born in the night 
um, from 6 p.m. until 6 a.m. Um, you are going to be working with um, bringing back magic in your life and you they uh, Librans and the Pisces are going to come in to help you guys and this is going to be good okay you Gemini's you know whatever you feel you have lost you need to let go okay whatever you felt that you have lost you need to let go a lot of you are going to be um, relationships are going to be ending marriages are going to be ending contracts are going to be ending for you Gemini's but you still need to move on and you still need to find a place within you're going to understand that relationships needs to end so that new things and new people and new situations can come in your life just like your work needs to be ended so that new things and new relationship and new situations can come in your life okay so here we are at the end of the reading for the month of September please remember to go listen to the general reading there are still more messages in the general reading and please go and listen to your Sun moon and rising sign and I am saying to you thank you for being here please like share these videos come back in this the, the third week to listen to what the energies are and you can come back you know because my weekly reading and the monthly reading works together because sometimes there is message in the monthly reading you have to go back in the beginning of the next week that you're listening to choose the week out I'm going to start doing the week stamp of these videos so that people will know where the week begins and connect with me via clarity and I'm saying namaste have a nice month